Hey guys, I've got a quick one for you today and this is going to be how to get the live CPU temperature in your status bar. Now you can see mine is currently sitting at 28 degrees. It is another exposed module so you will need the exposed framework installed and it's called CPU temp in status bar. So again, not a very inventive name but it does what it says on the tin. So let's go ahead and check this out in a little bit more detail. Okay, so once you've installed it, make sure you obviously activate the module, then reboot the device for it to take effect. And you should see a temperature in your status bar. You can see mine's currently sitting at 34 degrees. I actually find this quite interesting because I like to see what my temperatures are doing. You'll see it fluctuate when you open up an application or when you you know, navigate around your OS. And I love seeing what it does during benchmark. So if you're a benchmarker, you probably want to install this mod because it's quite interesting to see what your temperatures do when you run a benchmark. So we'll note the temperature first, currently sitting at around 32 degrees. We'll run the benchmark and you should notice the temperatures do spike pretty quickly. And you can see it's already sitting at 42 degrees, gone down a little bit, but it will go back up. Believe me, they do go up pretty fast on these devices considering there's of course no active calling. There's only passive calling, meaning that when it gets to a certain uh, temperature, the CPU frequencies are gonna start to decrease and therefore the temperature should decrease as well. I believe on Franco kernel that's set to around 60 degrees and I've also got the temperature to actually show red when it gets to 60 degrees so you can actually see when the thermal throttle kicks in now I'm not going to run this benchmark fully but you see the point we're already at 51 degrees and another useful thing for this is games so let's for, say for example Temple Run 2 because that is one of the only games I have right here and I'm dead um, you can actually check the set the temperature during game so you can see when your device is being thermal throttled when you're playing in a game because you know that's probably the most annoying time to get thermal throttled because you start to lose performance, you start to lose FPS, you can just pull down the status bar, you can note we're already at 41 degrees while playing Temple Run. So we've got another 20-ish degrees before we start getting throttled, before we start losing performance. Okay, so diving into the module settings, we've got a few things we can mess around with, for example the update interval which by default is set to a thousand, you can set that to something like 500 or 20 and it will go stupidly fast. It'll probably take up a little bit more battery doing that, a little bit more system resources, but you probably will get a more accurate reading considering the CPU temperature does fluctuate quite rapidly. Now, the temperature file by default, again, is set to automatic, and this kind of depends on your device. Automatic should find the file that has the CPU temperature. If it doesn't, some devices aren't supported, but you can try all these different uh, areas where they normally are supported. Temperature divider basically divides the temperature. I'm not really sure why this is useful. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments, but basically it just divides the temperature. So if you put two, it's gonna divide 35 by two, and now we have 17. So yeah, I don't really know why that's there, but you can do that if you want. Position, you can have, I've got that set to left. You can have it set to absolute left, puts it all the way over there. By the way, there is no notification here because it is actually now part of the system bar. It's not actually an application running. And we have right, which puts it all the way over to the right, even uh, past the clock. I prefer it just on the left because it's easier for me to see. I've got it displayed as Celsius, but you also have Fahrenheit here. You'll notice it's now set to red because I've got it set to show as red after 60 degrees. And that's you can obviously change that depending on the unit. You can also show unit, obviously degree C. And the color mode, you've got temperature, auto, and manual. So manual literally lets you choose the text color. So I have mine set to temperature, which basically changes the color of the units depending on the temperature that it reaches. So you can change the low, middle, and high temperature. Essentially, I want the low and middle to always be white because it goes with the KitKat theme. I only want it to be red when it reaches the high temperature mode, which you can see right here is set to 61 degrees and after. So that's completely up to you. Different kernels have different thermal throttle limits and of course on Franco kernel you can actually change that. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.